is a short film by GADPR of the Pi Telecoms and Radio Telephone Museums of Beaudley in Worcestershire. In the back garden of the museum. Now, most back gardens have tulips in them. I have tulips in my garden. It's just that they're slightly different tulips. And they're mainly brown, green and blue tulips. And here they are. Tulips from Hams of Britain, not from Hams of St Amsterdam, but most of these microphones have been collected for the museum. They are Pi 4001 uh, Pi Z type uh, microphones, uh, <coughs> mainly used in the era of the Pi Cambridge, the Pi Westminster Bay Station, the Pi Cambridge, the uh, fixed stations, the uh, Vanguard fixed stations, AM 27F, A A A27 FM, A27 AM base stations. We have blue ones, and we have green ones, and we have brown ones, and we have some more brown ones at the back, and we have two very old ones, great from the 50s, right hiding at the back here. I have a third one which I've lost at the moment that's on a very long stalk. Now, if we have a close look at the Pi uh, 4001 standard AM or FM inserted microphone, bass microphone, tulip microphones, of course, these are called tulips from Amsterdam, the only sort to grow in the Pi garden. And uh, there you go. Then we go a bit forward in time to the more modern ones, Philips, Pi Telecom, and Pi. These would date from the 1980s, <coughs> quite a way through towards the 1990s and even the year 2000, when they had some Oco ones of these, and their uh, May stations. So, but, uh, film there. There's a brand spanking new one there, Philips one, never been issued. Slightly older brown Philips one, a Telecom one, and a Pi one with the old Pi badge on. Then we come forward in time to the late 2000 area, 2005 plus, something like that, the SRD 1000. <coughs> two channels, you can select channels, functions, you can send cell calls and all sorts of things. Use this microphone without this handset and this is a dispatcher's box, the SRD1000 by Sunoco. This is GIDPR reporting for the microphone, radio telephone microphone connection of Great Britain. We now go on to slightly <coughs> different makes of microphone. This is mainly for use with clear tone. We have four different sorts of clear tone mics. Force Ops M2XS2, which is South Yorkshire Police Channel 2 microphone, still with its Dyna tape on it. <coughs> A few more clear tone microphones just here. Then we have clear tone. Kenwood, Key, and Motorola. And Motorola, where this is subject to monitoring, as this is uh, classified information on this microphone, came from the US Air Force. So just back off and have a look. Tactico, they sold a lot of Australia, made in Australian stuff. They sold a fair bit of Tactico stuff to the uh, <coughs> police over here over the years, not so much as clear tone and poly <coughs> and Motorola. <coughs> so if we come back now to the old microphones, we have some Shure microphones, a Yaesu Shure microphone, a Johnson microphone. A uh, just to reiterate that is a very modern Motorola uh, base microphone hiding in there. Go back to the Johnson microphone there, which uh, the Johnson Base Nation hiding upstairs. Very heavy US uh, UHF paging base nation. Unknown microphone, but it is a sure microphone. I do know that for a start, for a fact. 
Yesu, this is a Shure microphone as well. <coughs> a Yesu uh, made Shure microphone. And this here is a crystal microphone, which I hope to use one day on uh, 3.6 megs AM with my DX40 AM. And then we have this one, which I bought for a couple of quid at the Redditch Radio Rally. And this uh, are five pounds. <clears throat> it's quite an unusual and quite an old microphone. I think it has a name on it somewhere. Move it to me. Oh, it's hiding under there. And it's EMI. It's an EMI microphone. Just seen that there. And that's probably one of the oldest ones in my collection. Uh, I think it might have a duff ribbon in it. I think it's a ribbon microphone. This is a crystal microphone. And so if we come back on those, we end up at a Motorola um, fleet controller base built on the same principle of the SRD1000. This is actually Storno, because Storno produced this controller. Starnet, this one, this was used by the police in London. Starnet controller. And uh, there we go. This is Dave Hicks, PDPR, reporting for the Pie and Radio Telephone Museum in Great Britain, where special tulips grow in the back garden.